Broadcasting live from the Business Radio X studios in Atlanta, Georgia, it's time for Coach the Coach Radio. Brought to you by the Business Radio X Ambassador Program. The no-cost business development strategy for coaches who want to spend more time serving local business clients and less time selling them. Go to brxambassador.com to learn more. Now, here's your host. Lee Cantor here, another episode of Coach the Coach Radio, and this is going to be a good one. Today we have with us Dr. Sandra Camacho Schur with Aura Power. Welcome, Sandra. Thanks, Lee. It's great being here. Well, before we get too far into things, tell us about your practice, how you serve in folks. Well, what I do is I am what I call, I call myself an Orc Field Consultant because my special skill is that I can see the energy field that surrounds the human body. And by seeing that field, I help my clients identify what specific things are blocking them on a subconscious level. And I give them that information. And then we use an energy healing process to release those limiting beliefs, those programs, those blocks from their energy system. So they can be organically and naturally more successful in their business. So how did you begin uh, serving uh, business folks? Well, when I, I started out as a chiropractor and when I was a chiropractor, this is when I started seeing the uh, colors around my patients' bodies and it was giving me information about what was going on with them. And what I found was that the people that were most drawn to what I was doing were women entrepreneurs, because I believe as entrepreneurs, we are on a continual personal growth process. And I think that's why maybe they were most drawn than my other clients. And they're also where I think as entrepreneurs, we're also really ready to take on whatever inner blocks we are and release them because we know how crucial it is to our own success. So that's how I started out. I, I'd work with them. They'd come in for me, you know, they'd come in to see me for back pain. And then I tell them this, what was going on with them subconsciously that was actually blocking them in their business. And they'd come back and they say, oh my God, I got a couple of clients after you worked with me last time. So it was really interesting. So I started to move more and more in that direction of business coaching. So when you're working with a business, uh, a business owner or a business client, and you mentioned the words blockage. Are there some things that they're doing that are kind of sabotaging themselves? Exactly. And they're usually aware that they have a block. They'll, they'll say, you know, I'm working really hard. I don't know why I'm getting, I'm not making the progress I should be making. And always there's usually some limiting belief or program in there. It can be something like I have to work really, really hard in order to survive. And then that's blocking their, their uh, income flow or something like I don't deserve to be successful. It's not okay for me to be successful, but this stuff can be very, very deep. Like um, as women, especially, I think women get a, still get a lot of cultural programming around power and success that can get them in their own way and they don't realize it. But the reason it's the aura is so powerful is because other people can feel our energy. They can feel the energy behind our words and behind our actions. And just even by looking at our website, they can get a feeling for our energy. And so when we have, when we release those blocks, our energy attracts people to us in a much more natural, organic way, because those blocks are not impeding our communication, our actions, our decisions. We are going with the natural flow of the creative force that will allow us to create success in our business. So now are some symptoms of a blockage like um, procrast procrastination or avoidance? Totally. Those are really big ones. Yes. So once once you're talking with your client and you see that, hey, you, you told me that you were going to do this or you're going to make these 10 calls and then you didn't do that. And then you start discussing that and maybe kind of putting an action plan into place to help them make the calls and they're still not doing it then you, at, at some point you realize that, hey, or they realize maybe that then, hey, I got something else is happening. I, it's not that I'm, uh, I don't know 
that I should be doing this. I'm just not doing this. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Because, you know, what someone can have a really strong, clear intention intellectually and mentally that they want to be successful. But if their subconscious still has programming from childhood that's telling him them it's not okay for them to do that, they will sabotage themselves. And it will feel very uncomfortable for them to make those calls. It will be very uncomfortable for them to put themselves out there. And they, they may avoid it, they may procrastinate, they may never even be able to bring themselves to do it. Because their emotions and their subconscious mind is blocking their ability to take action. So uh, talk about what it looks like when clients are working with you. Are you kind of digging deep like every session? You're kind of holding them accountable and you're you're kind of, you know, giving them a checkup and, you know, telling it some tough love and, hey, you made this promise. Let's get to the heart of the why you're not doing this. Yeah, yeah. I don't usually, I mean, the tough love is is kind of, the person doesn't usually need tough love with this kind of work because uh, we, when I look at their field, I help them get a hold of why they're really not doing it and clear it on the emotional level. Because when we're blocked on an emotional level, it will make us, it will almost make it impossible to take action. So I don't have to say to them, why didn't you do this? I say to them, okay, let's have you think about making those calls that you didn't make and let me look at your energy field and see what's getting in the way because that really is what it is they may have a belief it's it's not okay i'll bother people if i call them it's 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 not okay for me to put myself out there i'm being a show off or i'm being pushy or i think i'm too big for my britches these are the kinds of limiting beliefs that can be that can be wired into their nervous system that block them. So I, I have them think about taking the action and then look at their field. And then I tell them specifically what programs and limiting beliefs are still running them. And then we clean them out and then their energy shifts and it's much, usually they just go ahead and spontaneously take the action after that because they're no longer blocked energetically. They're no longer blocked emotionally because 95% of our actions and decisions are driven by our emotional mind, our subconscious mind. So when that's in alignment with what we want, when our subconscious emotional mind is totally in alignment with what we want, we just automatically take the actions and make the decisions that will manifest that outcome because there's no resistance. There's no subconscious conflict. There's no blockage there that life force energy just flows out into the world and help and creates it. And also when we're in alignment, we attract these universal forces and synchronicities that support us in manifesting our goals. So it's one of those things, if you get this right, it can be pretty rapid change. Yes, it's usually very rapid change. Each, each session is very, it, there's a lot of, of change that happens just from one session. And I space them out two weeks apart when, I work with, when I'm working with a client because it usually takes that long for them to process all the changes that are going to be, that happen in their subconscious mind and just integrate it. Yeah, it's pretty dramatic. So now when people find you, um, is this something that at first they're skeptical? Are they desperate and that they tried lots of things? So now they're, what the heck, I'll try this? Or is this something? Yeah, that can happen, definitely. But usually the people that are most drawn to me are, are women who are already very in tune with their emotions and know that they are blocked. I don't get a lot of linear um, people who are like, you know, I, to be honest, I get very few male clients because men tend to be more linear and women tend to be much more kind of emotionally driven and more in touch with, uh, you know, how their emotions are affecting them. So most of my clients are women. Most of them are personal growth oriented. A lot of them are life coaches or, you know, speaking coaches, motivational coaches, and they know themselves that they're, you know, they're, they know how powerful it is to get rid of inner blocks. And they're drawn to me because they, maybe they've been doing 
work with their own coaches, maybe even doing more conventional coach and hasn't been able to get deep enough with them to find those really deep hidden blocks and get rid of them. Can you share a story with a, about a client that was struggling? Obviously, don't name their name, but uh, give maybe the little bit of the, the before and after where they were struggling and then they were able to work with you and then they took their practice or their business to a new level? Yes, of course. So I had like have a couple of stories, but I think I'll tell you about a client of mine who was uh, working really, really hard to grow her business. And she was doing videos every week. She was doing Facebook lives. She was doing free webinars. She was even, I think she was maybe even doing some cold cold calling. She was working with an accountability coach who was having her take all these actions. And she was working really hard and taking all the actions, but the actions weren't resulting in any new clients. And she was like, I don't know what the heck is going on. I must have some block. Let me work with you, you know? And so she signed up to work with me and I looked at her energy. We, we, we only had, this client only had one session with me. Well, I looked at her energy field and I saw that she had a couple of programs running. One of them was that the only way that she would be a lovable, acceptable person was if she worked like 24 hours a day. That was what made her a good person, a, a person who would have relationships, a person who would be accepted by other people. And the other program she had running was that it wasn't okay for her to be powerful. It wasn't okay for her to have a certain level of um, power in terms of her financial uh, power, in terms of abundance. Her, both of her parents had uh, struggled to make a living. They were blue collar. They didn't make very much money at all and they worked all the time. So she had some very deep programs about it. First of all, it wasn't okay to make a lot of money. And if you, if the only way that you could be like in a, in an in a loving relationship was if you worked really 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 hard so she, we worked on clearing those blocks especially the block about the hard work she really really well after immediately after the session she totally got that she needed to just do those things that really felt in alignment with who she was and not just do things because her coach told her to do them. Just do those things that she really felt in her heart that felt really good and aligned and take those actions and let herself enjoy growing her business. And she did that. And within a week, she got three new clients, which was more clients she had gotten in the previous two months. And she said, it was just like these people just said they started. And because when we put energy out there and it's the energy of struggle or it's the energy of force or it's the energy of I need to make this happen, other people can feel that. We have to be in the energy of I have this. I have created this. This is mine. And when we already know that we have something, we already know we have enough clients, even though they haven't manifested in this dimension yet, we will attract those clients. I know this sounds totally woo maybe to some people, but our energy really is the tool that's what's manifesting everything in our life. It's our energy. It's not really our actions. It's the energy behind our actions. It's the energy behind our decisions and actions. And then when people... Yeah. And when people work with you, are they working with you one on one? Is it group coaching? Is it kind of um, self-directed learning? How, how do people uh, work with you? I have two forms of, of working with me. One on one, where I work with someone's energy field directly and we uh, work and look at the colors and clear out blocks using the auric field method, visualization method. And I just started a group coaching program where I use it. It's a slightly different, it's a slightly different method, but it has the same result, which is using what I call, I, I've created an aura deck. It's a, a deck of cards and each card has a color and a chakra. And so each card is kind of an energy portal to a certain level of energy, certain quality of energy. And we use those cards in the group to help people uncover and release blockages in their nervous system and energy system. 
the the cards are kind of like the person it's like the person is reading their own energy by selecting a certain card they're drawn to a certain card that will give them information about what is blocking them and it's and and so then that you can do that with more than one person at a time yes yes that that group uh we have about five people in that group right now now if there's if there's someone out there that wants to learn more and maybe get on your calendar uh is there a website yes it's aura powerful dot com it's a u r a p o w e r f u l dot com well thank you for sharing your story today you're doing important work and we appreciate you thank you all right oh it was our pleasure this is lee cantor we will see you all next time on coach the coach radio (laughs) 